playing Monster Prom today. And with me, I have Visha. Hello. And Zan. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Visha is, of course, the little Tamagotchi. And Zan mm -hmm. is on the right of the screen with the pink hair. Haru. So, this game, we are gonna go to prom and hopefully try and win over some prom dates. Um, it is online, so we'll all be playing with each other and possibly against each other. Rivals. <laughs> in the romance world. Depending on who we want to romance, and who knows, it might overlap, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We're gonna go with the full game today. Ah, spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. Back when we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh my god, we get to pick. Who? Oh! Who are we? <laughs> oh, player yeah. one, is that you, Ray? Player one gets to pick first, and I guess it's me. I guess it's me. Um, I yes, will ask, you. who are you guys feeling? Um, I'm feeling that ghost ghost one on the left. Yeah, I, I felt like you were. <laughs> <laughs> Already rivaled. I can go for... No, I I like I like any of them, so... You don't mind? Y'all feel free to pick first. I don't mind. Okay. Flame Girl is serving. I'm gonna go for Flame Girl. She hout. A pun intended. Oh, I can change my... We, are we gonna be- are we changing it to our names? <laughs> yeah, we can, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Immersion. Where's Y? Oh, there. Hey, pronoun she. Let's go. Here we go! Ooh. Oh, am I player too? Oh, dear. Uh... Uh, 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 I'm conflicted. <laughs> Two very different vibes. They are very different vibes. Like both pretty cute. They are very cute. I kind of mm. want to do this. Uh, green. Green. Brian. Brian. Wood date. Wood date. Wood date. <laughs> ten out of ten. Um. A. M. Let's go with a they for now. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do the they's. Reader insert. Oz, oh, that's cute. That is a cute name. Ooh, I'm feeling they too. I, I can do this. Let's do this. You can like get it. <laughs> 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 and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge. The monster prom. Monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Oh, you ready, chat? You ready for oh, this? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <laughs> what? <Interesting. laughs> That escalated. <laughs> <laughs> Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> oh, he cute. Scott Howell. <laughs> <laughs> Scott yeah. Howell, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. A himbo. <laughs> a himbo. <laughs> Liam D. Lioncourt, 4X, oh god, this, this person's old. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Oh my god, he's one of those vampires that like chooses to relive high school, why? Yeah. Why would you? Why would why you would do you? that? <laughs> you could do literally anything else. <laughs> why? Yay! 
poly <laughs> poly guys. I love that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> a party goes. A party goes when with. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. Let's be playing doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a funny ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> what? And Vera Oberlin, a mean self made gorgon with a merciless sense of business. Ooh. Business woman. Ooh. Business woman. Business. Are you guys lacking? I'm going to romance with Vera. Vera. <laughs> Vera. I volunteer. Um, I, I don't know. I actually don't know yet. They're all cute. I'm leaning towards the ghost girl, but also kind of like the werewolf dude. We'll see. We'll see. It's just <laughs> safe wavelength. You and Anne. The start and end of our names are the same. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> what? Continue, Ray. Wait. <laughs> what? I'm confused. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beisha, v. Beisha, Vera. Oh, same Vera. thing. Start and end the same way. Yes. Oh, okay. B and A. I see. I see. It's meant to be. I see. <laughs> Can you may continue? <laughs> <laughs> it was clear it had to be one of them, but who? But whomst? But whomst? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. <gasps> uh oh. Oh. And you fall in love in three weeks. This is sounding <laughs> like a game, like you know, the a gang, a game, a gang, a game, like a it challenge. Is, it is a game. Like. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Continue. <laughs> like <a challenge. laughs> Continue. Continue. You mean like Continue. a yeah, like a I get what you mean, like a like a challenge, like, a like one of those battle. horrible those horrible high school movies where like the guy is um bettered to like woo the social outcast. Mm. But then oh, yeah. he ends up falling in love with her. Yes. Anyway. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. Oh, we're going. A yeehaw. A yeehaw. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. <laughs> wow. <laughs> War <laughs> Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Yay. Yay. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Oh, oh dear. That's, a, that's fun. I like that. I like that a lot. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. Oh, we can see each other's answers. Oh, geez. That's upsetting. <laughs> the stream can see everything as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> if you... <laughs> If you had to have sex what? with an animal, <laughs> which animal would it be? Uh, what the fuck? Please. <laughs> Alright. Um, a human being because I'm the kind of douchebag who loves to find loopholes in stupid questions like this one. A swan. They're classy, plus it reminds me of that myth of Leda and the swan. So at least bestiality standards, <laughs> it has a certain chic appeal. A great Ooh. white shark, if I had to fuck an animal. Wow. Oh, I don't, don't want to die. I didn't think this game was one that would say fuck, but... Yeah, that would also <laughs> get into bestiality so quickly. Yeah, it's just like straight in there. <laughs> if at all. Uh... What's your answer, Ray? <laughs> a human being. Yeah. <laughs> Is that lame? Should I just say fucking great white shark? No, fuck it. There we go. What do you think, okay. Sam? Uh, let's go... Yeah. Oh my god, the shark is on the top left. I'm gonna go with the shark. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, it's multiplayer! Playing <laughs> yeah. together! Yeah! So smart. So creative. <laughs> 
Which inanimate object do you think would make the best girlfriend or boyfriend, provided you weren't criminally insane? Oh my god. These are fucking great. <laughs> An ATM, sugar baby life. Here I come. A human-sized pillow depicting a character <laughs> created by myself. Oh my <laughs> As a matter of fact, I have all the needed paperwork and I'm only waiting for the conservative, narrow-minded laws of our country to finally step forward into waifu and husbando territory, as was clearly intended by God. Oh, God. All a right. dildo, duh. Um. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, An OC pillow. I'm going to yeah. go with the OC pillow. Just fuck it. Very good. Uh, I'm gonna go with the ATM. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if a dildo can give me um, emotional <laughs> That's what I was support. thinking! That's what I was thinking, you need the life-size the, pillow. Both of, the, the... both of these are good. <laughs> Wait, Zan, which one did you pick? The ATM. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> materialistic. <laughs> is it just an ATM with like no money in it? It's just an empty that, ATM. That, that, that's <laughs> just not attached to the bank. Oh um, God. <laughs> I feel like I can't bring that anywhere with me. So. No, that's true. It, it would be really hard be to, to take on dates and things. Ooh. Just drag it around. If you were an ice cream, which flavor would you be? What the options are? Success. <laughs> Double cream delay. I don't know what. Gruyere. Gruyere, Gruyere and meringue. Mm. Meat. Tequila yeah. and Coke. Winky Rainbows face. and gummy bears. Spicy chocolate. Okay, so this probably says a lot but about us, right? Because when I go to Cold Rock, which is like they smash a bunch of ice cream flavors and random shit together, I always get the weird shit. I get like bubblegum rainbow with like gummy bears. Which oh, yeah, is exactly do. the answer to the question. Which is exactly the answer to this question. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bonk? <laughs> are, are you being punished for your disgusting ice cream choices? But I also I feel like tequila and coke is one of those weird choices. But I'm gonna go at rainbows and gummy bears. Spicy chocolate. No chocolate on fire. It's me. Yeah, I do like chocolate. What is Adela Gruyere? Is that I, it's very posh. That, that, that. It's just a posh option. The posh. I'm posh surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just tonight. a simple chocolate person. It was a oh, oh, there we go. I had a feeling it had something to do with the characters. Um, Thanks, Chris. I got the fucking oh, mermaid girl. Gru Gru yeah, I thought it was a cheese. Yeah. A cheese. Um, ooh! Stats! Let's do this! Ray! I'm a smart person. Smart Money. nine. Boldness Money four, is a stat. Seven. Money, honey. Very smart, very creative. You have, like, the least amount of charm. That's sad. <laughs> but you, you're quite average in fun and money. <laughs> You're somewhat bold, but not really. <laughs> You're adequately I'm fun. I'm average. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Where do I want to go? Let's go to the auditorium. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though what? The muses themselves have descended to give your figur figurative what? Figurative. Figurative. What? It's a. It's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you figurative oral sex. I didn't. It sounded good. Okay, that's good. I guess. I didn't know this was this kind of game. This is why I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the did the cute graphics catch you off guard? I was like, oh, this is so cute. Next time they're like, no, we're gonna fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck a shark. You wanna fuck a shark? Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Mm -hmm. You gain plus two creativity. Hey! Wow, you've maxed wow. out creativity. Wow, 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 wow. I'm such it's a... a rock fact. <laughs> it's a rock fact. <laughs> the art style is very cute. It is cute. 
You notice Miranda trying to put a smile on Liam's face. This should be good. Huzzah! I simply do not understand how you can be so gloomy all the time when the world is so full of wonder and magic. Ha, huh. I guess I'm just not part of the everything is beautiful world. Is that because he's a trillion year old vampire? They, are they rehearsing a play, or is, that, is this them talking? <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Um, I don't know. I think they're talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just part of the Everything is Beautiful Club. The Everything is Beautiful Club? Is that a secret club? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. I want to join. I want to join. How can I oh, join? No. She's dressed as a Mario character. Princess Peach, yeah. She is. <laughs> Oh wait, Daisy, sorry, Daisy. Daisy. Liam seems totally sexually disinterested and continuing this gag, but you have no such reservations, you tell her. You tell her? Okay. Um Okay. <sighs> Bonk. You're <laughs> <laughs> You're in luck. I just happen to have the membership paperwork right here. Magic is real. Oh, that's super easy to join. All you have to do is eat a bunch of cotton candy. Wow, that's rude. I'm gonna go with the first option. Not so charming. Not so what? charming. You hand Miranda some membership forms you whipped up. Oh my god, why am I lame? <laughs> They're totally fake, but she's <laughs> loving it. She likes it though. Miranda fills out all the forms and then skips off to mail them to one, two, three, four, Fairy Dust Lane. Aren't you worried about what'll happen when she finds out you made up this whole you made this whole thing up? You are, kind of. And when you run into her later that week, she does look pretty bummed. Oh, I thought Oh no. <laughs> it was either we'd be rude to her or we like I thought I was playing. They <laughs> They rejected me? <laughs> <laughs> Everything is beautiful club rejected me. I got a letter. Hand delivered- who did this? <laughs> Hand delivered by a glittery forest fairy saying I was too dumb and ugly to join this secret uh, club! Who did this Fam. to her? That's never stated. Who did this to her? Too dumb and ugly. Disgraceful. Oh alas, perhaps everything is not beautiful after all. Miranda flees in despair. <laughs> you look up one, two, three, four, Fairy Dust Lane, and it turns out to be the national headquarters of the Dirk Brigade. Oh <laughs> Tough break. <gasps> oh no! You have you're one so charm. Hear <laughs> your stats, right? I'm not doing very well with the ladies. <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> but the ladies. Yeah, I'm losing my charm, which is not great. Um, <laughs> Hello, it's Hello. me. Let's go. I'm going to, oh, so smart seven, boldness five, creativity four, mm, charm seven, fun three, excuse me, and money seven. Seven Seven's. ATM boyfriend. Uh, let's go library. That's a that good photo. <laughs> <laughs> that day, you spend some time on the library's PCs, mining some bitcoins. Oh, oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is supposed to have some uh, something to do with sol solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has any fucking idea of how it really works. Uh. Anyway, you gain plus two bitcoins, which is equal to plus two million dollars. Oh my god. Which unfortunately is equal to... Two oh my god, you're dollars. rich. I plus two you're money. Rich. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna move your little avatars over to the side a little bit. Okay. Afterwards, uh, you see Polly and Damien eating some delicious looking cookies. Oh, yeah. Hey, would you like to buy a cookie to benefit the agents of chaos? I'm trying to get my destructive capitalism badge. <laughs> what the fuck? All proceeds go directly to the uprising of chaos over, over order. And it's tax deductible. As I was setting fire to a nursing home the other day, oh Jesus, Jesus I heard a voice echo so loudly in my head that my teeth rattled. It told me of an ancient order. As it was described to me in a thousand voices, blood trickled from my ears. Fucking metal. And then the voices gave me a badge for harassment of the elderly. 
Classic. Yeah, these two are a trouble, I think. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> and I earned my first badge for being un uh what for being unable and unwilling to stop partying. Yeah, woo girl. Yeah, woo. My goal is to get enough badges to make a bikini out of and then wear it and nothing else everywhere forever. That's a good goal. My goal is to get enough badges that Polly makes a bikini out of them and wears it and nothing else everywhere forever. We wow. get it, you're a cool Time. guy. I wonder what badge we should go for next and what hijinks we can get into to earn it. Uh, alright. You know what's crazy and chaotic? Being single and partying forever. Destroy the institution of marriage. Chaos is always better with uh, some sensible agony. Replace all the water in the school with swarms of mosquitoes. Wow. Um, Ray, I might be creeping yes. on your ghost, girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, queen. Oh, to be honest, Lame. I was too busy like moving you guys to pay attention <laughs> to exactly what was said, but you know. Oh my goodness, I always say that marriage is like such an outdated institution. But think of how panicked old people will be if we dismantle it. Very good. Yeah, they'll act as if it like matters or something. I'll head to City Hall and torch all the marriage certificates. That's... What is happening? <laughs> and I'm gonna go to all the, the... All the bridal salons and pour pig's blood on all the dresses. What? Oh my god, perfect. Does that sound perfect? Man, we're gonna get that Disrupting Societal Norms badge easy as pie. Badge bikini, here I come. Why do even the simplest plans seem to escalate into arson and blood so, so quickly? Whatever, you gain two plus fun and one plus boldness. Hey, you added positive. Hey! Be sure. Oh my god. Ghost person. I'm average in almost everything. Oh, your creativity, <laughs> creativity is really nine. High. I love it. <laughs> okay. Where am I going? Class, outdoors, gym, bathrooms. Yeah, let's hang out in the bathroom. Oh, oh I skipped a class? <laughs> Naughty. I guess some people just want to watch the world Look burn. at those little things on your shoulders. That's Are so they cute. your shoulders? They're so cute. They're my ghost buddies, I guess. They're ghost buddies. Phantom buddies. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms, you give zero <laughs> shits, but you gain plus two boldness. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're after you're walking along when suddenly a car skids to a halt just in front of you. It's not the most logical location for a speeding car to barrel through, and yet here we are. Vera, <coughs> Vera and Damien hop out. The work isn't bad, it's just not at the level it needs to be if you want to win this all-star drag race against a real badass hunk of metal. What's your plan to win, Damien? Just drive your car really, really, really fast? Oh no, she likes cars. <laughs> of fucking course it is, Vera. That's literally how street racing works. Uh, what are they talking about? Oh, drag race. <laughs> drag like, racing, as in like not, actual cars. Oh, as in like, cars, were, like what it like, not like, like initially is. Yeah. Not the, not, uh, <laughs> not <yo>. the in drag <laughs> competition. <laughs> and that may have won you the crown in the past, but it won't work against Justin Darrington. Damien, he's driving the Thunderfuck 5000. What the hell? <laughs> and I'm driving Nancy, a pile of shit I lovingly cobbled together out of every car I've ever destroyed. What? Either in a race or just literally destroyed by arson or whatever. Oh my god. And Nancy can take on anyone, anything, anytime. Fucking metal. The Thunderfuck 5000 is an electric <laughs> car. Nancy runs on the juice of literal actual dinosaur corpses. What could be wor more badass than that? So pathetic. I don't know, maybe running on pure lightning? <laughs> Nancy is a piece of shit, Damien. Deep down, you know that she does not have what it takes to win us this thing. Seems like this drag race is pretty important to the two of them, and that they're not going to come to an agreement on their own. Looks like it's up to you to be the voice of reason. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. I don't know anything oh, about cards. <laughs> Attitude is everything, but Nancy will never embrace her inner fierceness with all of Vera's criticism. Come on, Damien, let's give this car a makeover. Vera, you're right. Nancy is amazing, but she can't quite make the grade. We need to crossbreed her with a faster car. Oh. 
I mean, I don't care for Damien, so I'm oh, I, uh, gonna back up Vera then, right? Yeah. Hmm. So smart. So smart. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> Perfect. We can get a brand new qualified race car, and Damien can still feel like his shitty subpar car is useful. Nancy is a thing of beauty and grace, Vera, but as long as her get and her genes that live on in whatever machine I drive to victory, the plan is A-OK -okay by me. The three of you get to work setting up what could easily be considered one of the most impressive and high-tech car crossbreeding programs in the country. So interesting. What? You find a very shiny red electric limousine to serve as Nancy's stud and start oh, the breeding process no. alone. Ew, no, we're actually no. crossbreeding now. Which mostly consists of making the cars a reservation at an appropriately fancy and expensive restaurant and loading up their CD players with smooth, smooth jazz. Oh. Sometime <laughs> later, Nancy gives birth. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh, why? <laughs> important to the ultimate race car. Oh, bon. Oh, Ooh, <laughs> she's cute. Those outfits. No. Look at what we've made, huh, guys? I mean, mostly what Nancy and El Diablo made, but we helped get them there. Not bad. She's so hot. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> this car is a masterpiece. I've been looking for my next business venture, and I think I may go into high-end race car breeding. Oh my god. People make thousands off of breeding horses to race, and horses want to fuck. How hard can it be? <laughs> By that logic, I bet I can make millions breeding race cars. Brad. You totally could. I'd be your first customer. Oh. Mm, haha. You already were. I'll send you your invoice later. Bad bitch. Well, looks like Damien has the race in the bag. Vera has a new business venture and the world has a new species of super race car. You gain plus two Ooh. boldness and plus one money from a kickback from Vera, which comes with a genuine smile <gasps> from her. Score. Oh, yes, no. it is. <laughs> Yay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to decide uh, the order of players, I think. So we can either do it by a challenge, I don't know what that means, or we can do it randomly. What are we feeling? We can do challenge. Yeah. See what they challenge? have for us. Okay. Challenge. Tonight on Checkpoint, chat justifies car sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody chooses Everybody a brand. Chooses a brand. Oh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Okay. Um. So we say it now? Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So think of a brand and then say it out loud. I suddenly don't know any brand. Um. Coca Cola. That is my brand today. Okay, I'll say Adidas. Disney. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Player order is decided based on how likely it is that the selected brand secretly rules the world. Oh my oh, god, it's Disney! Disney. <laughs> oh, no Disney. competition. <laughs> um, so I gotta vote, right? Player order is decided. Yeah, yeah okay, Zan. Um, who do you think second should be? Coca-Cola Coca has a lot to do with, food, like, the food industry, right? Yeah. So, Coke? I think it's Coca-Cola now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then, I And guess, then Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> oh. 